right guys, welcome to today's boiling point. Um, today I want to talk about uh, proper position in while we're doing bent over rows, whether it be a barbell, kettlebell, or a dumbbell. Um, proper position for a row is also the same exact position as if I'm going to start a deadlift or some sort of uh, swing movement anytime I'm hinging at the hips. So if you may remember a couple years ago the video I did about keeping a flat back, okay? Um, if you didn't, please watch that video. Go to the website, check that out. That's gonna give you some cues to also help you with your bent over row. So, a uh, couple things you always wanna think about when you're bending at the waist and you're trying to create a flat back and a tight core to brace your core to protect your back so you can do a beneficial row. A um, couple things I always think about is the first thing I do is I keep my chin tucked, meaning I'm not here and I'm not there, okay? So you wanna pretend that you have a neck brace on anytime you do a, uh, you, you hinge at your hips. So as I'm doing that, I'm hinging back, I'm trying to create a straight line from my butt all the way through my shoulders up to the top of my head. All right, and if you notice my chin isn't up, sometimes if you have your chin, if you have your chin up, you'll have a tendency to hyperextend your lower back and then, you, then you're going to over engage your back, okay? So again, first thing, tip the hips back. So you should feel a little bit of load in your hamstrings, but you don't want to hyperextend. You want to keep your abs tight and pull your shoulders together. So sometimes people will think flat back and they'll think over exaggerated posture, okay? You're doing probably just as much, if not more, um, I don't want to say damage, but creating a lot more load in your lumbar spine, okay? We're trying to keep that tension in your core and in your glutes and hamstrings. So, with a regular standard row, let's say I'm doing that with uh, two dumbbells, I'm gonna hinge back, take, keep my chin tucked, pull my abs in tight, okay? So I feel my hamstrings in this position, my glutes, and I also feel my, um, my abs tightening up. And as I row, I wanna make sure that my shoulder blades don't come forward with the weight. So you don't want the weight to be challenging that too much that it pulls you forward. You wanna pull your shoulders back like you're pinching, okay? With a barbell, it's the same idea. You wanna ensure that it's probably a little bit easier to keep your shoulders back. You wanna ensure that your hips are back, pull your shoulder blades together without shrugging, pull down and back in row, okay? and making sure every time you row, you're not leading with your wrists or forearms, so that'll force you to do this. You wanna focus on punching your elbows back. So to recap, tilt the hips, pull the shoulder blades together, make sure the head of your humerus, this bone right here, stays packed in tight, okay? That's for a, uh, a bilateral or a uh, regular uh, stance row with both feet together. In a staggered stance row, same idea, but now you're creating a lot more load and stress on that front leg. So um, some people will comment, will call them, I, if I'm doing, I'm doing the row right, I don't really feel it, I feel it more in my leg. That means you're doing it absolutely perfectly, okay? So you wanna also ensure that your back leg is straight, all right, just like if I'm gonna sprint forward, I'm creating all that force, putting a lot of load into my front glute and hamstring, okay? Same idea, pushing through that front heel. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging for people because you've gotta do a little bit more work with your core. So if that position gives you a lot of um, anxiety because it's too hard, go to two feet, okay? While I'm doing a, a teaching a class or doing a workout with people, I always tell them, um, for the most part, I like a stagger stance because it forces you to work a little bit harder and forces you to engage your core. But if you can't do that as the rounds progress, go to two feet, works just as fine, right? So try those couple tips. Again, rewatch that video that I did a couple years ago on keeping a flat back. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, ask us in the gym. We'll see you next time.